First, take out of all items from the package. There are monitor, camera, power cord, bracket, cigarette lighter, antenna, screws and T-taps. Install the antenna on the monitor. Pick up the bracket. Follow my operation. Tighten the screw. Align the bracket with the hole on the back of the monitor and snap it down. The bracket can be flexibly adjusted. Tear off the bottom protective film. You can place it where you want. Pick up the camera. Align the camera bracket hole with the license plate screw hole. Fix the camera to the license plate with screws. You can also install the camera bracket behind the license plate. Follow my operation. The camera angle can be adjusted flexibly. The black thin wire is antenna of camera. Please don't cut it, otherwise the camera will be unable to transmit the signal. You can use cable ties to fix the thin black wire. Pick up the power cable. Connect the power cable to the monitor. Pick up another power cable. Connect the power cable to the camera. Red wire to the positive, black wire connect to the negative. Now merge the two red wires. Then merge the two black wires. Pick up the green connector. The plus sign is positive, the minus sign is negative. Use a tool to loosen the screw. Insert the merged red wire into the positive, plus slot of the green connector. Tighten the screw. Insert the merged black wire into the minus, slot of the green connector. Tighten the screw. Connect the cigarette lighter to the green connector. Please note, do not make the positive and negative wires touched. Plug the cigarette lighter adapter to the power. Press the red button. The monitor lights up and the image appears on the screen. If the monitor show the image from camera, please do not pair. When you receive the second camera, you need to pair the signal for camera according to the test connection way. Press the M key to enter the menu mode. Press the M key to enter the pair. Turn off the camera's power and quickly turn on. The image appears on the monitor, indicating that the pairing is successful. The testing finished. Now disconnect all wiring. This wire can be connected to fuse box, ACC, radio, ignition switch. The easiest way is connect the monitor to cigarette lighter outlet. Plug the cigarette lighter adapter to the power. Press the red button. The red button lights up. The monitor lights up. Connect the power cord to the camera. Red wire to the positive, black wire connect to the negative. The red wire is connected to the positive pole of the reverse light or tail light or license plate light. The black wire is connected to the negative pole of the reverse light or tail light or license plate light. The image appear on the screen. There are three keys. Plus, up, key, M, menu, key, down, key. Press the up key when the H appear on the screen. Press the down key to adjust the height of the guideline. Press the up key when the W appear on the screen. Press the down key to adjust the width of the guideline. Press the up key when the M appear on the screen. Press the down key to move the guidelines left and right. Press the M key to quit the menu mode. Press the down key to switch to the split mode. Press the down again key to switch to the CAM1 channel. Press the down key again to switch to the CAM2 channel. Press the M key to enter menu mode. 
Press the up or down key to switch to the picture. Press the M key to confirm. Press the up or down key to switch to the contrast. Press the M key. The icon turns red to indicate selection. Press the up or down key to adjust the contrast. Press the M key to confirm. Press the up or down key to switch to the hue. Press the M key to confirm. Press the up or down key to adjust the hue. Press the M key to confirm. Wait 10 seconds. The system will automatically exit the menu mode. Press the M key to enter menu mode. Press the up or down key to switch to the mirror flip. Press the menu key to confirm. There are four modes. Normal image, mirror image, vertical normal image, vertical mirror image. Press the up or down key to switch image mode you want. Press the menu key to confirm. Wait 10 seconds. The system will automatically exit the menu mode. Press the M key to enter menu mode. Press the up or down key to switch to the system. Press the menu key to confirm. Press the M key to select the language. Press the up or down key switch language you want. Press the menu key to confirm. Press the up or down key to switch to the SCANTIME. Press the M key to confirm. Press the up or down key to adjust the SCANTIME. Press the M key to confirm. Press the up or down key to switch to the auto scan. Press the M key to confirm. Press the up or down key to turn on the auto scan. Press the M key to confirm. Wait 10 seconds. The system will automatically exit the menu mode. When scan appears on the screen, the monitor will automatically switch the camera channel. Press the M key to enter menu mode. Press the up or down key to switch to the system. Press the menu key to confirm. Press the up or down key to switch to the auto scan. Press the M key to confirm. Press the up or down key to turn off the auto scan. Press the M key to confirm. Wait 10 seconds. The system will automatically exit the menu mode. The monitor will not show scan. Hold the sensor of the camera with your hand. You can see LED light. There is a thin white wire on the camera extension cable. Use a tool to cut the white wire. Hold the sensor of the camera with your hand. You can't see LED light. Use a tool to cut off the rubber outside of the white thin wire. Please be careful not to break the copper wire inside. Now merge the cut white thin wires. Hold the sensor of the camera with your hand. You can see LED light. The process of connecting the camera to the lamp line. T-taps. T-taps has two holes and one hole is closed. The long line is the line of the lamp or the circuit line on the car. Thrust the car light line into the first hole. camera power cord. Plug the power cord into the second hole. Iron sheets. Clamp the iron sheet to the tap's bottom. 